Hi, this is a quick video on the parallel axis theorem. Um, I'm just going to walk us through a situation that we already know from our tabulated table, and then um, hopefully you'll just learn to trust this technique uh, in any of the situations that you kind of run into later on. So I'm going to, first of all, what we have here is we have a, a box, which is obviously the, the height of H total, and the width, the base is the width. So what I want us to do here is, first of all, determine that um, Ix and Ix prime that we already tabulated, that's in the upper right, are correct. And then, can we get one from knowing the other? And that that's the whole purpose of the parallel axis theorem, that we know what the inertia is about one point, how can we translate it to another? And that's the entire, that's the whole purpose of all this, so. Okay, so, first of all, let's determine what Ix is, uh, inertia about x. That would be y squared ba equals integral of y squared x dy which equals x integral of y squared dy which equals x one third y cubed which if we just clean that up a little bit we'll have one third y cubed x or one third b h cubed okay so this is the inertia about the x-axis that's exactly what we had tabulated let's do the next one x prime once again um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider us right at the centroid of this. So rather than doing it between plus h and a half, h over 2, and minus h over 2, I'm going to say 2 times the result of h over 2 to 0. So if we just determine it from one and that way we won't uh, be subtracting off the other half of this uh, inertia. So y squared dA and you realize that this is all the same process y squared x dy equals x y squared dy which once again you're gonna have x one third y cubed, which will once again equal one over three x, and then this is going to be y cubed, but it's going to be y well, h and a half over zero, or h and a half to zero, and then don't forget, um, you can't forget that two. I forgot the, to add the two in here, but um, just realize that we're going to multiply everything by 2 at the end, so I'm going to just put 2 thirds right here rather than 1 third. So, knowing this, um, it kind of works all out, and you end up getting what I would call 2 times 1 over 24 base times height cubed which when you equal that out, that'll equal one twelfth base times height cubed. Great. So not too shabby. And just realize that um, since now we know that the tabulated values are able to be trusted, then we can probably see, hey, is this parallel axis theorem? worth anything, or is it just a joke? And uh, so first of all, we know that Ix is going to equal, our inertia about x is going to equal one-third base times height cubed, and 
we also know that about x prime is going to be 1 twelfth base times height cubed. So we know those two things. Let's use the parallel axis theorem in the upper right. What you'll find is that you have ix equals ix prime plus area distance squared. Well, let's plug all that stuff in. What you'll have is you'll have um, one third. Well, let's just plug it in here. You'll have one twelfth base times height cubed. That's your x prime plus your area, which is going to be base times height times the distance squared. So it's h over two squared. Which, when you bring that all out, you find that this is going to equal um, one fourth. So this whole thing, this this whole segment right here is going to equal base times height squared or cubed, sorry, one fourth. But if you bring that into if you bring that into a little uh, into the twelfths form, you'll have three twelfths. So this is the same thing as three twelfths base times height cubed. Well, when you add that, when you add this one twelfth to that, when you have one twelfth base times height cubed plus three twelfths base times height cubed, you have four twelfths base times height cubed, which four twelfths simplifies out to being one third base times height cubed. And that's exactly what we had from before. Kind of nifty little trick, and it will save you a lot of time in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.